Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just log in with your credentials and once you're done with this, just simply come over here and activate your cloud shell. It will take a couple of seconds, so just wait for that and click on continue. Now just simply scroll down and just simply scroll and from here we have to just copy this set region command. So just copy this command, just wait, click on got it. Now let me just increase the text size for you. Okay, now run this command, just wait, click on authorize. Now what you have to do, just simply scroll down, copy this data flow API. Okay, just copy this name, just simply search for here. And here you can see in marketplace, you can see this API. So just open this thing in new tab, come back over here, just wait for a second. Now here what we have to do, we have to just re-enable this API. So just simply click on that manage option, just wait. Now we have to just simply click on this disable API and then click on this disable. So it's done. Now we have to just simply click on enable. So we are done with this task. Now what you have to do, just copy this bucket name. Okay, like copy like this. Again, do not copy this full stop. Just copy like this. Come back over here. Now just simply search for the bucket. Click over here. Wait for a second. Click on create bucket, paste over here, click on continue, scroll down, continue, continue. Now from here, uncheck this checkbox and just simply choose the fine grains, click on continue, just simply click on create. So we have done with the task number one. Now just wait and it's done. Now if you just simply click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. Now what you have to do, just copy, just copy this command, go back to your cloud shell and run the command over here. Just wait until this command get executed. Meanwhile, just simply copy the second command. And it's done now we are in the root directory as you can see now run this second command like this now just wait for to this command get execute meanwhile you can just simply scroll down and copy the third command of task number two Now it's done. Now run the third command of task number two. So we have done with this task as well. Now we don't have to run this command. Just wait for this command get executed and it's done. Now just simply come on the task number three. Now what you have to do, please pay attention. Copy from here like this. Now if you want, you can just open the online notepad as well. Okay, now run copy this command like this, paste over here. Now what you have to do, just simply scroll down, scroll up and copy this bucket name like this and paste over here and make sure it must look like this there is no full stop after the bucket okay it must look like this now copy this thing go back to your dashboard run over here so it's done now just simply come on the task number three and copy this command and run the command over here now just wait for this command get execute. It is going to take at least five to 10 minutes. And if you want, if you just simply search for the data flow and open this jobs in new tab, here you can see your one job is in the running state. Now just wait for at least five to 10 minutes and make sure that your laptop will not go for a sleep. Otherwise your cloud shell will be disconnect. And because of that, you won't get a score on the task number four. So just wait for at least five to 10 minutes. After that, we will see.
and it's finally done now if you just simply come back over here and refresh the page here you can see your job has been succeed and it took around 5 to 5 minute 36 seconds now if you just simply click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys